Sarah, today you become my wife and I become your husband. Before God, we become one, united in love, under God, as one whole being in our Lord's eyes. I cannot have created a better person to call my wife than you, Sarah. God made you, especially for me, and I for you. You brought me back into the light and showed me what true love is. You taught me that love is a choice, that true love comes from actions we take every day. It is choosing you every day, no matter what the feelings are in the moment. My love for you is eternal. I would sacrifice whatever is necessary to serve you and our family. There is no chance of time or distance that could separate the bond I have with you. Love, your husband, Quentin. The day is finally here, our wedding day. I've been waiting for this moment for the last six and a half years, and today is the day. But if there's one thing you've shown me over the years, it's that life together is our own version of our perfection. Our years, it's our life together. It's our little slice of heaven on earth in good times and bad. Over the last six and a half years, I've loved you more and more every day. I chose you then, I choose you now. And I promise to choose us for the rest of my life. You are my best friend, my biggest supporter, and my favorite person. You are my absolute everything, and I thank God for answering my prayers for all that I ask for in the husband. As we join today in the sacrament of holy matrimony, before each other, our family, friends, and God, here's to the start of our forever life together as husband and wife. I will love you forever. Love, Sarah.
so happy for you. See my pen? Can you see it? Yeah. It's green. And then this is green. My dear friends, we come into the house of the Lord rejoicing at this celebration for Quentin and Sarah, the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance. We support them with our love and affection, with our prayers and friendship, for they are our brothers and sisters. Let us humbly pray that God our Father, through Christ our Lord, will unite them in the sacrament of marriage and keep them lovingly together all the days of their life. Quentin, take you, Sarah. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. To, for better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. 
to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until death do us part, until death do us part. I, Sarah, take you, Quentin, for my lawful husband, for my lawful husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until death do us part, until death do us part. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Quentin and Sarah Salerno.
first met Quentin when I was in middle school, my first day at Cabrini. He was the big funny guy that liked to joke around and not take school too seriously. And I can proudly say that the Quentin that you see today is not that same man. I'm proud all of you accomplished the past 15 years, man. You both are hardworking and faith-driven people and are a great team. She definitely brings out the best in you and has made you a better man. I pray you both have a wonderful marriage and continue to make each other happy. Congratulations, I love you both. Sarah and I have been friends since the eighth grade. We went to St. Damien, played soccer, softball together, but I'm not really sure how we became so close. She always had a thermos for lunch, and I would ask her daily, what was the soup of the day? Her response normally was, it's butter noodles. One time I remember Sarah talking about how she was gonna apply for this program called MRAP. It was some research program, and all I th know is I think they met at U of One with your board. I was excited for her and hoped she was accepted. We all know she would get in, and it was a good thing because that's when we started bringing up this guy named Quentin. He was a couple years older, funny, and very smart. Once he started hanging out with us more, I understood why he would be sticking around. He has always been an ear to listen, shoulder to cry on, and the biggest support system for Sarah. I know he will always take care of her and keep her stomach full. Sarah, I'm so happy you have found your person. Both you and Quentin bring out the best in one another. I hope you both continue to grow in faith and support each other through the adventures of life. They say to give a piece of marriage advice towards the end of these speeches, and like everyone says, never go to bed angry and always communicate with each other. Uh, to the Solanos, may you always be happy, loving, and supporting each other. Can be really important for you to share those joys together when you can and to commiserate with each other um, you know you'll always have somebody who can share in those experiences with you so luckily you're both incredible brilliant and determined people and I, I trust that that won't be an issue and Sarah if you're if he's half as good of a husband as he is of a friend um, you're gonna be in luck and I'm wishing for nothing but happiness love and prosperity for the both of you and comforted that the two of you will have each other for who knows, forever, um, and that's wonderful. So if I could, I'd like to propose a toast to these two, to Quinn and Sarah.
Quinn checked all the boxes for Sarah when they first met. Before they even got to know each other, on the surface, he met her criteria. He's Catholic, Polish, athletic, very smart because he was studying to become a doctor. And as their relationship grew, those initial reasons Sarah was drawn to him are only a few of the reasons she loves him today. As they start this incredible journey that we're all here to celebrate, I'm confident in their ability to overcome challenges, give to others, put faith at the center of their relationship, and most importantly, love one another unconditionally. I've been looking up to Sarah for the past 15 years, and now I have a lifetime to admire the new Mr. and Mrs. Solano in all of these amazing ways. Please raise your glass to Sarah and Quinn. Congratulations, we all love you. So I first met Sarah when she was two years old. So you probably don't remember that. So I was able to be at her first communion and eighth grade graduation and confirmation, high school graduation, college graduation, uh, family barbecues and birthday parties. And so it's a very uh, big honor to be here today for you and Quentin. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life, especially married life that Quentin and Sarah now share. We ask you to bless them with many long and happy years together. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, amen. Smach <laughs> nego. So let 